In today's video, we're going to be looking at La Belle versus La Belle Le Parfum. We're going to be reviewing these two fragrances by Jean-Paul Gaultier and seeing if we can tell the differences between them and sharing what lessons I've learned since my first La Belle purchase. Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Bevy and welcome to Bevy Sense. First up for review, La Belle. She is an amber vanilla fragrance and comes in an eau de parfum concentration. The size I have here is the 100 ml bottle. Now let's have a look at this gorgeous bottle. There she is, that bodacious female form with gold rose collar. Now let's see what we're working with this time. La Belle starts off with a strong blast of alcohol, the sweet, it then gives way to a watery lime scent. It's a good blend of citrus and sweetness. As you head to the middle of this fragrance, it is lightly floral and gives way to a mellow woodsiness. According to the Jean-Paul Gaultier website, the notes for La Belle include pear, bergamot, and vanilla. I'm sure there's a lot more than that. But on my skin, in the dry damp, I get vanilla and a woodsy note. La Belle to me seems best suited for the summertime, a casual daytime scent. This is not a blind buy kind of fragrance. It does contain vetiver in there, and vetiver is not an easy note to pull off. So it's best if you try it out first. Having said that, this fragrance lasted about three hours on my skin and stayed very close to the body. Yes, my review for La Belle has changed and I'll tell you all about it a little bit later. Now let's have a look at La Belle Le Parfum. She's an amber vanilla fragrance, comes in an eau de parfum concentration as well, and a 100 ml bottle. The can is the exact same that La Belle the original comes in, except that it now has embossed gold roses on the front with a banner that says Le Parfum. La Belle Le Parfum is differentiated from her predecessor by the red gradient that she has running through the glass that makes the liquid inside appear darker. There she is with that sexy red gradient and similar gold rose collar. I waited a long time for this fragrance. Wow. When you first spray this perfume, you're enveloped in a cloud of sweetness and caramel and vanilla. This quickly goes from a 10 all the way down to a 5 in projection within about a minute. It's then followed by this pleasant, green sweetness. This perfume then descends into sweeter and sweeter territory, warming up seductively. I think that's the 
tonka bean in there going to work. The notes in this fragrance are supposed to be pear, tonka bean, jasmine, and vanilla, according to the Jean-Paul Gaultier site. There seems to me to be a spiciness to the middle of this fragrance and a little bit of smokiness. This scent immediately reminded me of being in church. At this point in the middle of the fragrance, the vanilla asserts itself and gets stronger and stronger. And by the time you get to the dry down on my skin, it's sweet, warm, ambery, vanilla, and woodsy. La Belle Le Parfum is a rather dark, seductive, sad beauty, almost gothic. Yeah. She's kind of strange and melancholy in certain aspects, but there's no denying her beauty. She does grow on you. If you've got an event to go to where you're gonna be a social butterfly, moving about the room, and you're about having your diva moment, I can see this fragrance leaving quite the scent trail throughout the entire venue and sending people into a wild goose chase trying to track you down. Spray this perfume right before you enter for maximum, maximum effect. effect. Now, La Belle, the original, lasted about three hours on my skin was light, fresh, and perfectly suited for summer. It was a watered down version of the La Belle Le Parfum, which I found to be warm, seductive, stronger, and longer lasting. La Belle Le Parfum lasted about eight hours on my skin. Now, here's my lesson that I learned. Now, when it came to La Belle, the original, you can check here for my first review. What had happened was that not only was it opened when I received it, it was also cold. The entire box with all the perfumes I got were cold. I'd left them all out for about a week to warm up to room temperature, and I didn't open any of them during that time. All the other fragrances were fine. I thought that's how La Belle was supposed to smell, and I did my review. Three months later after that time, I tried it again and it smelled the exact same. Six months later now in June, when we were experiencing a heat wave, it was about 84 degrees Fahrenheit in the room and I tried the perfume and it was completely different. It now smelled the way the new La Belle Le Parfum smelled. And I was like, wow, okay. So maybe traveling through delivery back and forth in freezing temperatures uh, freaked out my perfume. I've had it happen to me once before where I left my all-time favorite perfume in my gym bag and I threw it in the trunk where it was like minus 10, 15, 20 degrees outside. I got home and got ready to go out and sprayed myself senseless with it and I could not believe how I absolutely reeked 
And I was like, this cannot be happening. This is not my perfume. And I was absolutely like gutted because I just bought this bottle and I'm like, oh my God, it's ruined. It's cold and it's ruined. And it took about two weeks before that fragrance got back to normal and smelled the way it was supposed to. So I know that yes, these extreme temperatures that your perfumes may go through when they're traveling for delivery can affect the way that they're going to smell. So you definitely have to give them time to settle down. And sometimes that's not enough. You know, a week may do it. Sometimes it's three months later and you never know. So don't be surprised sometimes if a fragrance that you originally didn't care for, three months later, you're like, wow, it's changed, it's different, and I really like it now. Comment below and let me know about your experiences with your perfume deliveries and temperature changes and perfumes that you started off not liking and you changed your mind because maybe the fragrance itself changed. I don't know. Am I alone out here? I don't think so. Comment below and let me know. And please take the time to ding, subscribe. Bye.